Hello ENSC, new members, today we're going to show you how to get ready for your first PvP fleet in Faction Warfare, everything you need to know as basics. This video will explain how to use a D-scan, it's going to explain how to um, get your orbit right, so you can be orbiting the enemy and on those shenanigans. So what we're going to need to do is just follow these instructions here, which are going to come with this um, video as well. And the shortcut so you're going to be able to you know replicate that video on your own later so with all that said let's start so first is going to be how to find the fleet we're just going to click on the fleet fleet finder here we go the fleet is there join fleet we're trying to run as many fleet as possible all the time so what we need to do when we join the fleet is look at the MOTD message of the day MOTD First is going to be a starting point, which is going to be this location. We need to set a destination. We need to come here as I'm already in the system. That doesn't apply for me right now. Clean clone, no implants, except for PvP um, clones. <coughs> as for ship and joint comms, joint comms is important, guys. We cannot run a PvP without without talking. Um, why is that? Because we don't have the time to type commands and people reading them. It just it does not happen unless you hear the commands. We cannot have you in the fleet. Okay, so first we're gonna do is we're gonna go to augmentation. This is where your implants are. You're gonna click on augmentation. We're just gonna go to augmentations, and this is what I have at the moment. So um, this is my PvP clone. This is something I'm willing to sacrifice in, in, in case I die. But I'm trying to run away before that ever happens, so I am very unlikely I'm gonna lose them. Even if I do lose them, they're extremely cheap. As you can see, that's a one percent um, implant. They're extremely cheap on the market. It only helps you a little bit, and they cost um, that cheap. Um, with all that said, here augmentation is done. We need to go to. Well, actually, we need to tell you what happens if you actually do have implants that you may be afraid to lose. Is here in the station there is going to be a jump uh, clone bay, clone bay. So you can create a jump clone. So what you're going to do is just click here and um, install a clone. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm on my capacity, so I'm not available to create another clone. But just um, just so you know, there is going to be install a clone, jump into the clone, and this change everything. Okay, with all that explains, we got the locations. Well, we're not gonna click the, the where the locations are right now. We're just gonna let you, let you know that you need to connect yourself to um, United Nations Space Command and uh, UNSC Intelligence. So, hello, UN uh, United Nations Space Command and UNSC Intelligence. This is a bookmarks that are gonna help you with the fashion of warfare. Why? Because these bookmarks contain safe spots safe spots in space that you need to warp whenever you're in danger in the system and you need to just hide for a little bit and when one once you're docking and undocking from a, a hostile station is in low security there is going to be an insta dock there's going to be insta undocks all those stuff that it will help you survive in these hostile territories okay we need to join the faction warfare now how do we join a faction of warfare? It's uh, almost every station in Kaldari space, if not even actually every station in Kaldari space, have this option here once you dock. And that's going to be a faction of warfare. It's in the middle of the top uh, top layer. You click it, as you can see here on the right or the left side, there is going to be retire. What does that mean? That I'm already in a faction of warfare. For you guys, guys here, it's going to say enlist me. And you just click and list me. You can retire at any time, but just to just remember that once you retire, you have a 24 hours penalty not to re-enlist again. Okay, so you know you can <clears throat> you can join. You can have some PvP. You decide that I'm gonna be doing some PvE activities with my uh, battleships or marauders or whatever ships you're flying and if they're expensive and you're not willing to lose them you may um, retire and try to join us later on but if you're gonna be flying some 
cruisers or any other not very expensive ship you can still remain as in list because that's not much money you're gonna lose in and the danger it's much lower because people if they're coming to hunt people in high security from faction warfare they're gonna be trying to kill something like a battleship marauders or expensive stuff not not looking for people in a chip ships okay so all that said let's move on the next one is gonna be how to get a free ship from UNSC okay there's gonna be a corporation of fittings and they're gonna be alliance fittings um, you can you can click you can know where they are for now we're just gonna open our um, fittings come on okay there's the fittings we're gonna go to frigates every race we have all the ships what you need to do is just click on the ship you want to fly or if there is a doctrine it's just gonna say what the doctrine is because sometimes you're flying in uh, special ships for example you want to see stand doctrine is gonna be Punisher Punisher is what we like what we would like to fly all the time so Punisher F1 is for um, alphas and uh, very low skill players new to the game like yourselves uh, the UNSC one is a deck 2 variant with deck 2 modules which is a little bit um, it's a little bit different and just more, more advanced so this is going to be a tech 1 modules and as you can see this one is going to be the deck 2 modules it's it's just for more advanced pilots we will provide um, the F1s we're going to provide the UNSC for frigates, destroyers and when you get trained even cruisers so for the time being just make sure that you join the general fleet link the, the fittings that you would like to fly today with us if there is no requirements if there if there is no doctrine saying you just link that ship and say that I want to uh, want that fli uh, that ship but when you're in the station so we can trade it here okay the next step is going to be the overview settings okay so we need to undock for that stuff let's undock Okay, we're just gonna stop our ship, which is gonna be control space, control space multiple times, and as you can see, it's gonna stay say here, stop ship, stop ship. So why do we stop the ship? Is first things first. We need to combine our weapons. We need to we need to make our ship ready for PvP. So there is a symbol at the bottom here. It says group all weapons. We're just gonna group all the weapons. We're gonna install. Uh, close range ammunition for the start. We're just gonna rearrange our modules like this is rapid fire which is gonna slow the enemies. Most of the ships are gonna have a disruptor or um, scramble. This is gonna be a afterburner which is that's a propulsion system. This is making us faster and that's gonna be armor repair and armor repair right click and they're gonna be nanite repair paste. So you need to install the paste inside as well. So make sure that you check if that module you have here, you know, use paste or not. So you just load it, get ready. What we're gonna do right now, we're just gonna walk to our safe. And we're going to talk about the overview. We have a few overview settings here, which is a UNSC and a midsheet overview. Okay, let's close this for a second. Why do we need why do we need the overview settings? It's very important for you, maybe later on when you get a little bit more advanced. So first, when you get any of the overview extended and just just make make them all smaller so they can fit here so you can see more instead of extending your overview through half of your screen. Uh, screen you can just uh, make them small the most important thing for you to see is gonna be tags and velocity why tags and why velocity there is another one which is the angle of velocity uh, um, sorry not angle of velocity yes it's an angle of velocity and a tra uh, trans velocity this stuff matters for more advanced players later on which um, tells you um, what direction they are moving into so you can match their direction their speed and try to hit them 
this is very important stuff for advanced players not for you at the moment the only thing you need to know is velocity and tags okay so why tags you ask because some of the time most of the time we tag stuff uh, so for example first let me transfer uh, the fleet to this character <laughs> so it's gonna pilot fleet a boss okay so now we are fleet commanders why do we need a fleet commander so I can show you the tag so when we tag something oh sorry I need to move myself to a position <laughs> okay just gonna do it this way and it's gonna go down okay so now we're up to date we can tag stuff as you can see we target one but we can tag two we can tag three we can tag four I cannot tag them right now because there is no objects here but if we tag them we don't really need to uh, use the broadcast so there is a two ways of people you know saying which is gonna be the, the next target one is gonna be tagging them so you know kill one kill one kill one or kill two kill two or three or four whatever so you can just tag them quickly and you just go through the numbers and people know oh, I need to look for that number so this is gonna be the next primary one is with tagging some people do prefer that myself I like tagging other people's preferred bo uh, broadcasters I gonna explain broadcasters as well in a second the velocity why the velocity matters is if you a brawler and there is enemy and that enemy start accelerating fast you can see the velocity if that velocity is great in the thousands that means that you are in danger so you may wish to run away before it catch you because that's gonna be a kiter there is a few types of PvP. One is brawling, which is gonna be uh, literally point blank. Um, you know, you're gonna kill them from very short range. The other one is gonna be uh, um, kiting, which is gonna be they're gonna try to hit you from a distance that your weapons usually don't hit them, but still hold you on place. And the third one is gonna be sniping. They're gonna be like a hundred kilometers away from you, and they're gonna try to vaporize you before you run away, because they have no means to hold you. But they will try to kill you you know this is a, a three usual types of pvp that you should know it's a uh, brawling close combat kiting it's literally from 20 to 25 kilometers and sniping which is about 100 kilometers um what do we have today we fly a brawler ish <laughs> our brawler has capabilities of uh, hitting far away as well so we're happy about it <coughs> safety well the safety is here down here as you can see we're green back in the days we were doing uh, PvP fleets we were going as a pirates in low security but we don't do that no more because we can join a faction of warfare so I'm just gonna show you where the safety is but we no, don't need that no longer so orbit we're just gonna click here so this is the option for orbit it's right here uh, what we're going to need to do is just click on Alice and we need to look at our weapon first actually. We're going to look at our weapon as you can see. I'm start moving away. As you can see we have an optimal range of 7 kilometers and our optimal, uh, sorry, far off range on 7 kilometers, optimal range on 4 kilometers. So what we need to do in order for Alice not to be able to hit us from you know that much because Alice may be using the close combat munitions. So what we need to do, we need to set an orbit. We need to set an orbit on Alice about 6,000. Why 6,000? Because we have an afterburner, and when we accelerate, we're just gonna be moving out of our range. So what we need to do is on that orbit, we're just gonna right click, and they're gonna be selected for the orbit, and we're gonna move that to let's say 500. Uh, um, 5,500 okay 5,500 and we're just gonna click orbit we're just gonna click orbit and this is gonna be orbit on 5,500 we're gonna put after burner on so why do we need to orbit the target you ask it is um, moving target um, 
as in real life if something is moving you cannot hit it it's just you hit it less um, people will have less tracking on you so they're gonna hit they're gonna do less damage on you if you're moving instead of staying on one place with your speed which is quite high as well that means that they will hit us even less as you can see we put an orbit on a 5500 and we're orbiting within 6000 so if we move that to uh, like for example 6000 and now click it again <coughs> Now we're gonna go to our our optimal uh, power range. Now we're gonna go to like almost seven thousand. You see, from six thousand we move to seven thousand. So you need to you need to see what is your optimal range with your skills, with your weapon types that you're using at the moment, so you know what optimal uh, what what orbit you should put for yourself. Every person is individual because people have different skills. So one person may have a twenty kilometer, one person may have eighteen kilometers. You know, example. Uh, okay, so safety. Just so you know how to add people to the watch list. Because it's important as well. We're going to open the fleet. And we're just going to click on our squad one. We're just going to move it to our faction warfare one. We're just going to add, and they're going to be um, right click. And it's gonna be add squad members to watch list and a new watch list is gonna appear here so what you need to have on your screen in the middle of a PvP is gonna be watch list is gonna be a directional scanner which I'm gonna show later and you need locations which is gonna be clicking L button and locations in the system which is here so you need locations you need watch list and on the bottom here we're gonna stick the D scanner so you have everything you watch everything why do you need a watch list is you need to see how many of your partners are still there if anyone is missing it's gonna show that he's missing and if they are there you have an idea in the middle of a fight how many of your allies are still alive because it's going to show their ship and how many of them are in a pod and what is their uh, status like how much damage they're taking it's pretty important for you to keep an eye on stuff and you know pff, is this battle going well <laughs> okay so we're gonna we're gonna start shooting a little bit alice here so i can show you something it is going from the right to the left which is a little bit weird you know Every person would say that this shield armor hull, um, well, this is how I think it is. But actually it's not. It's the other way around. So basically the right one here is actually the shield. Then it's going to be the armor. Then it's going to be the hull. We're not going to, we're not going to. Oh, I need to start a duel. Oh. Do, 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 do. Just bear with me a second to invite. Invite to a duel. Let's accept the duel in order for us to hit Alice Blackstone. So what we need to do, we're just gonna try to hit it now. We're just gonna put our verify. It doesn't really matter, but if we make it move less, it just help us with our tracking. We're just gonna hit it so you can see the shield start taking damage. This is how the shield start taking damage. Then the armor, then the structure. And this is how you're gonna see in the middle of a combat how your you know fleet members perform health wise okay so we're moving forward to the disc scan this is a rather big topic okay so let's click it this can it's right here on the scanners and it's gonna be here on the on the right side is the directional scanner <coughs> why the directional is kind of matter that much this is like a sonar it's pretty important um, I will try to cover as much as I uh, can in this video but the best way for you to use the discount is once you you know get in combat once you start doing stuff you know you're gonna you're gonna learn how to use the directional kind of better so what I'm gonna do is just gonna move a little bit here because I need to see what options I have what what stuff I have on the enemy <coughs> Okay, so directional scanner, we're gonna start with 
which is what well, we need to keep it on a close range. So when we come, when we get inside, or actually rather before we get in Plex, when we warp to a Plex in Faction of Warfare, it's gonna look like this. It's just gonna be the icon here. It's gonna be some Plex. When we warp to that kind of Plexes, they have a celebrator gate. Before we enter the accelerator gate, we're just going to click VVV for victory and multiple times and we're going to see what is inside the Plex. If, you know, when we walk there, we're going to see our friends, they're going to be having number here in the destination and whomever is inside is going to be the, the name of the ship, what the type of the ship is and it's just going to be a line saying that they cannot tell us destination, uh, direction. Um, distance sorry they cannot tell us distance because it's inside the plex so we can we can see what people we have in our fleet see what the enemy have and can we or can we not fight them of course there may be friends inside you never know it doesn't really tell you exactly everything but this is how it works and when you come inside the plex if it's empty when you come inside the plex you keep on 0 0.1 AO to 360 degrees and you click it all the time so you know when they walk to the gate you know someone is coming someone in this ship is coming can they enter can they not um, there is a there is a scout small medium and large um, plexus in faction of warfare so the scout could be scout naval which means up to factional ships or scout advance which includes tech 2 frigates scout is only frigates medium is up to destroyers Me, uh, sorry uh, small is up to destroyers medium is up to cruisers and large is up to battleship of course they can be naval which means um, you know that whatever plex is up to naval or it could be advanced which means up to tech 2 which means up to tech 2 like cruisers or uh, uh, tech 2 battleships etc <coughs> so you have an idea how the disk can work we're just gonna open it here in the system and we're just gonna find ourselves which we are just bear with me a second so I find myself better. Ah, there you are. So this is where we are. So as you can see, it's a sphere. We are scanning everything around us in a sphere. If it's 0 0.1, it's just it's just nearby us. As you can see, the sphere is extremely small. But we can extend that sphere and try to find what is in the system. We can extend it. We can scan. As you can see, there is more ships. There is some ships here. We doesn't know where exactly the ship is roughly, but as you can see, there are even more and more. We can try to scan them down. And we know, oh, in this system there is this and there is that and what not. Not we don't know exactly where it is because it's somewhere in the sphere. But there is a way for us to track them down. So this is like a defensive using of the the disc can. Is when you are looking for if there is enemies or what the enemies are. If you go offensive and you try to find where they are, you're just gonna go for 15 uh, angle um, percent of angle which creates it as a column. You see, it's a column. You can move that column in a different direction. So for example, we're gonna scan here. We're gonna scan here. We're gonna scan here. And we can continue scanning these directions. And just tell us what is in that direction. You see, there is even a praxis there. That's a 5.6, so we don't really need to go to 14 because after, after this location, there may be another location here. And we don't know exactly are they here or they here so for example 5.6 we can go to 10 and this is how we're not gonna scan the, the the objects behind and that's gonna tell us what is there at the moment gonna continue scanning we're trying to find some ships we're trying to find some enemies this is how it works 
um, unfortunately this is already 23 um, our our discount works to 14.3 so after 14.3 even if there is something here we cannot reach it okay even if you try to even if you try to do that we cannot reach it so we don't know we need to move here and try to scan from here to this location this is how directional scanner works this is the offensive uh, the offensive part of it if you try to track them down find them see where they are see what they do where they are if you want to defend yourself only you just go to 0 0.1 AO 360 degrees and you scan all the time to see if anything is coming in your plex so Okay, that is covered. Broadcast. All right, let's go to broadcast now. Um, so we already showed the tags. Now we're gonna show you the broadcast. We're gonna have to open the fleet. If you want to use the broadcast, you need to have the fleet open all the time somewhere. My screen is uh, pretty small, so <laughs> I don't know where to put it. <laughs> Um, exactly here. <laughs> let's do that for the time being. Okay, so broadcast. Let's click on it. Fleet broadcast. Um, well, actually, it is here. It is not down here. Okay, so fleet broadcast. You go on fleet. Well, it's not here. It's actually broadcast here. If we haven't clicked it, it's right here. So this is where the broadcast. Uh, you click on the broadcast, and there is a type of a broadcast. So this is like a um, spot an enemy, uh, need armor, need shield, um, need capacitor. <coughs> broadcast in position, or actually, if you want to broadcast an enemy, it's here. There it is. The broadcast the enemy uh, it's uh, commanded it's on X but so far as I am uh, aware only the fleet commanders can broadcast an X target. As you can see they are in a different colors they are in a different colors so you know what you need to do. Every color is being set and you can see the, the colors here at the bottom there is a Canadian Peacekeeper broadcast settings. You can just click on it and you install those automatically for yourself. So what does mean the next target is red. Uh, in position is green, need capacitor is green. Actually, they should be different, but we don't really use in position really. Need capacitor, um, need shield is blue, need armor is yellow and enemy has spotted is orange so if you see enemy you can spot it if <coughs> the most important thing is the if you're logy if you're logy you're only looking for the green the blue the yellow nothing else matters for you you can ignore the other one completely by right click on them and it's gonna be uh, ignore this type of broadcast but once you ignore them later on you have to go to broadcast settings and uh, and you have to allow it so you don't really want to you don't really want to you know ignore them so we just used to the colors and this is the best way for you I guess you can clear them all the time like all the time you just click them clear them clear them and it's just gonna be the new ones the new ones broadcast is gonna be showing up okay so what is important with the broadcast is if you hold control like for example let's remove uh, Alice Blackton from our target if you are in a fleet that they're broadcasting and they ask you this is gonna be the next target you need to attack this one so basically if that's been broadcasted it's next target hold control click on it it doesn't really need to find it where is it in the mess here because they're gonna be uh, lots of enemies I guess so you don't really need to look for numbers or whatever you just hold control and it's gonna be there broadcast in um, bigger fight is much easier than the numbers but as we do a small scale PvP as we do a small scale PvP um, tagging works as well this is for more like a big PvPs when you have like 20 30 40 50 ships here in the locker in, a, in an overview and you 
don't even know where to start looking for it. So when you target something, it's gonna tell you the name so the people may broadcast like one or two enemies at the time and they're gonna say Alice, Alice, Alice is gonna be primary, Alice broadcasted, broadcasted, Alice is gonna be primary. So you see the you know the multiple broadcast in the whatever is Alice, you just hold control and you target it. Or you may actually target them all and whatever is Alice you can fire at it, okay? <coughs> well, this is basics of the PvP in Faction Warfare roughly. If you have any more questions please let us know. Of course you, you're gonna become much better and better of practicing. There is no videos or information on the internet that will instantly make you godlike in PvP. The best way for you to learn PvP is by doing PvP. That's why we're gonna be providing you ships. And yeah, this is what we do. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for more content and fly safe.